Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Magna Carta 2. Last time we moved into Kodamara and began uh, Celestine's Rite of uh, Coming of Age ceremony with the Rite of Incense, Rite of Nature, and the Rite of Strength uh, missions that need to be done. So uh, instead of having her do it all on her own, we're going to help her. Um, okay, so around here... Oh, oh crap, that's the uh, little fast, the fast little thing. That's the right of nature. We need to go over there and steal that thing's flower. Uh, okay. Um. Mission done! We can kill it! Oh god. Um. Huh. Um. We. Uh, it's still not running? Wait, did it? But I wanted to. But. Did. Did, did you two kill it? Really? Did you two kill the thing? But I wanted to kill it. <laughs> okay, well that's the uh, rights of uh, nature done or whatever it is. Anyways, let's keep moving on. Uh, we're gonna head up here towards the uh, end of the 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 entrance exit into Dunan Hill. Uh, over there will be the monster known as the Union. I, be I believe it's in. I believe it's still in the uh, Navy Blue Marsh. I don't think we have to leave the Navy Blue Marsh for any of these missions. No, actually, there it is, right there. You can see it. There's the Union. Uh. Oh crap! Oh right, this is gonna be a little bit annoying. Con reflection. I think this just stops skills from working. I want to take a look at that. Uh, skills. I don't know what what that does exactly. Uh, bow. Temporarily reflects wizardry. Yeah, there we go. Well, it's completely useless in this village, then. In this place, then, because... Yeah. It'd be useful against, like, the... the other people, nation, places, but... Oh, God. Come on. Target the right thing. Right, if I push both of them together, it targets the closest thing to me. I keep forgetting that. That is a very tel help helpful... It's a very helpful hit. Yep. There we go. I can talk! Who says I can't? I'm speaking normal right now. Man, this union has a lot of defense. Or whatever. Rue! You die. Oh well. Ow! Stunned me! Okay, let's shoot you a couple times with the bonus of bowing. Zephy will uh, begin the attacking. Ow, stun! That's not nice! You don't stun people. Ooh, he's not where to go on. I was putting in weird camera angles. And slash spin. Zephy, please heal her now. I am taking control of you to try to build up the con necessary to heal. I now have that con and am proceeding to heal her as she is down to under a quarter of her health. She was under almost under a fifth of her health. <laughs> she was quickly approaching a fifth of her health. And I'll switch to Celestine because she's not going to get stunned partway through so I'll no undoubtedly get the chain here. Like that, because she's far away, because she's got a bow. If she was close in, I'd be very worried about what the hell she was doing. There is a creature attacking Zephy. I doubt Celestine could take this thing on her own. Something tells me the stunning would lead to her demise. Oh, the Union's dead. That's kind of cool. There's her. There's its horn, neatly encased in a... Uh, ooh, I can heal. Neatly encased in a treasure case. Treasure chest of glowingness. Uh, Rue! Stab it in the jaw! Acquired a union horn. I so thought that's a unicorn. <laughs> I was like, oh man, we have a unicorn horn! Oh, wait a minute. Damn. Uh, I was getting all excited for nothing. Oh, right, they show up on the radar. Right. Use an empty bottle. There's one incense. Thank you. Okay, now where would the rest of them be? Hi, strange mushroom-looking thing. 
Uh, ooh, I'm gonna save, because I haven't saved in a while. Oh, is that field under 10 hours into the game. Navy Blue Marsh over 18 hours into the game. Yes. Uh, do the, the marks don't show up on here, but they show up on the little map, so if we run around... There's another one. I, th I figured there might be another one over here. And then the other two will be on the other side of the Navy Blue Marsh. Uh... Oh, you would be right in the middle of everything. You just had to be in the difficult spot. I just realized I just, like, killed a little mini-boss without, like, even caring. <laughs> ah, that training is final. That training session has really paid off for me. <laughs> oh, uh, I better heal up. Because I got the points for it. There we go. Rue. You are going to rue the day you crossed rue. Oh. Yeah. I went there. And even I didn't like it. So you guys just... No, just be quiet. <laughs> I know none of you... I know you guys know I went there. And I know some of you didn't like it. And I am among you. It was a horrible joke of qu bad quality. I know better. Anyways, little uh, ice sculpture thingamajigger from Final Fantasy VII Condor Battles. Pointy looking elf head things. Seriously, how does a flower form like that? Like, that doesn't even look like a flower. It look, it, every time I look at it, it looks like a little elf that got frozen. Are the Mare turning elves into flowers and freezing them? Like, why didn't they do that to the northern forces when they attacked before? Anyways, I see another thingamajigger here. So, uh, gimme, gimme. Thank you. And, uh, next up... I'm guessing it's gonna be near the Refuge of Darkness, or maybe in that little, uh, alcove just to the south of the entrance. That we first entered from, uh... Oh, where was it? Where was the first place? Old Fox Canyon! After the old battle at Old Fox Canyon, we came to... We came in the entrance that was over here. Hi! Hi, Mary! You can go away now. Thank you very much. Thank oh, there it is. Yeah, it is in the, that southern section. And there is a Mary by it. Mary, I do not like your proximity to my goal of this mission. I am asking you nicely to please leave. Goodbye. There's another one! Oh, we can't have this. You, you're gonna have to just go away, please. Just go. No, you are not allowed to. Okay, you are about to be super skewered. See, you're super skewered. I even skewered you twice after the. you were already dead. And there we go. That should be all of the rights done in under nine minutes. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. I believe that is all of them. I'm gonna quickly take a quick look... Uh, yeah. Definitely done them all. Let's go back and uh, get our missions done. Yay. Okay, which way do we have to go here? We need to go to the right, then straight down. Okay. East, then straight south. Hi, Marys. I'm sorry I killed your brethren. Not really. They were... Rocking. Mary! No! Bad Mary! Bad Mary! I don't care if it was the little one that hit me. You are the mother. You're supposed to be teaching your children better. <laughs> you are a bad mother, Mary. <laughs> why am I such an, Why am I in such a weird mood today? <laughs> oh boy! Uh, oh, I'm healing. I wasn't sure what skill I had thrown up. Rue. Stab them in the jaw of death. Petite Mary. That is what you get for improperly attacking somebody. I gained a level. With Celestine. Good. That was the level I was looking for. 
And I figured Zephy was the next one to gain a level, so I already threw the Seeker on her. Uh, so I just need to change this up. I threw the second Seeker on because there's no other thing to throw on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Pendant of Skill. I'm actually going to throw this because uh, I'm pretty sure the uh, magic power is what affects the uh, bow. Because uh, if you actually go to the equipment here and you look at the bow, Spirit plus 76, so I'm pretty sure it's the Spirit that actually affects the attack power of this thing. Which is kind of kick-ass. Considering she has more Spirit than Crocelle right now. So, technically her attacks are not only faster, but more powerful than Crocelle's. That is kind of kick-ass. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep going. Although, actually, I'm pretty sure Rue is going to be the next one to gain a level after. Yeah, because she's in the party, so... I'm going to quickly switch out the Seeker. Uh, con reward, because the uh, con rewards are kind of cool. Uh, Misfortune Star, goodbye. Ooh, ah, sure. I don't really care. Don't even care. I'm going to... Oh, well, that was the attacking one. I should throw that on... You. Oh, wait, no. Who has the defensive one? Do you? Yeah, you have the stamina and defense. But you don't need attack. Screw it. We're just going. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Wrong way! Okay, that, that, that distracted me a bit. We're just gonna keep moving forward. Nothing to see here. It's just a bunch of dead Mary. Their corpses disappeared. Their con is returned to the world to create further Mere to which I can slaughter for attacking me. Uh, it was self-defense. You all saw it. I was just trying to mind my own business running by. Uh, but then the Mere just came out of nowhere. Little kid was like, no, you're not allowed to go by here and kicked me. And bit my ankle. No one bites Rue's ankle and gets away with it. Or was I controlling Celestine at the time? Nobody bites Celestine's ankle and gets away with it. Celestine shoots them in the face. It was Celestine, because I did repeatedly shoot them, the mother in the back with the arrows. Right. Right, 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 right. Uh, okay. Um, ooh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, well, no one's going to gain a level after this one, I don't think. Oh, need to be Celestine. Celestine! Ah. Uh, 2,000 experience. Holy crap. Uh, no. Uh, who is the highest? Uh, it's going to be Zaffy for sure. But at this rate, Crocell might get a level up before Rue. Uh, 2,000 experience. Okay. Uh, no one's gonna gain a level. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's fine. That's, oh, we're good, we're still fine, we're good. Everything's okay, people! Uh, there we go. Uh, I can't remember how much experience the other mission gives out. I can find out. How much, how much experience does this give out? Only 1,500, okay, that's fine. I don't think anybody's going to gain a level with that. Uh, no, 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 no. We're still all good. We can hand this mission in without gaining any levels. We don't have to worry about the skill points. Because that really is my main concern here. I don't really care. I'm going to find out something right now. Uh, Zephy has the belt of experience, right? Yes. Okay, so... Uh... So, she's at 1763, so it's going to be 1860... 19... It'll be a 19136 after this if the experience belt does not affect the mission, the experience gained from quests. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but people have been asking, and I want to find out right now, so... Uh, this will be telling what it will be. Uh, may all marry, recognize her as an adult, yay. Treat Celestine as an adult. I bestow a token of adulthood. Uh, enjoy the Mare festivities. Celestine's coming of age. Three-leaf clover! Yay. 
Now we have to go over to the middle area, and I believe there's fireworks? If I remember correctly. Yes, talk to you, Swateen. Swateen. Okay! Ooh. Ah. Oh. Hey. Congratulations, Celestine. Thanks, Argo. This means I'm an adult now. So, let's have our wedding. Hmm. You're still a little kid on the inside, but I guess I'll congratulate you on passing your coming-of-age ceremony. Congratulations, Celestine. Thank you, everybody! Today is the happiest day of my life! Yeah, but you're still only 12 or 13. Crowsell, you're being sarcastic even on a day like this? Your big sister is in a good mood today, so I'll give you a pass. Today is a fine day. It's vital to take breaks like this every once in a while. Even though we're in the middle of a mission. For a little while, we forgot about reality and enjoyed the celebration. It was a brief respite, but another battle would be waiting for us tomorrow. Man, Judo, lighten up. God, you're just so depressing. Ah. Uh, okay, yeah, I used Alex's letter. That's good. Okay, then. Well, there's two things we got. First things first, a Celestine's uh, new brooch. The spirit brooch. Yay. It's good. And enhancement-wise, uh, who is the lowest level we have? That does not have... Everyone's level 39, so Celestine is technically the lowest level we have. Yeah, okay. I think she has the Seeker on, doesn't she? No, she has Con Reward on. Unfortunately, this is going to conflict with the uh, Seeker when it comes up, but whatever. We'll just throw that on Celestine for now. Yeah, so that's a plus 10% to experience uh, that we can equip to the weapons now. Uh, I'm not going to really bother with the uh, with it as much as I'm using with the Seekers. But uh, basically, if I get... Basically, it's going to stay on a character until they get close to the level up. Then the Seeker's going to override it. And then I'm going to just throw it onto the next lowest character. That's basically how it's going to run. So it's just going to... It's just going to just sit there. It's just going to cycle through all the characters... As if it's a regular comment. It's just going to take, like, an extra step. Anyways, that is it for this episode. We completed a lot, actually. We got through f four missions? Yeah, we got through four missions in one episode. Uh, technically. It was really three with the conglomeration of one. And we saw fireworks. We got celebrations for completing this episode. Yeah. And anyways, next time we're going to move into uh, Dunin uh, Field. And we're going to continue on with the uh, attack. Driving back the northern forces. No attacking me, Mary. You heard the stories of what happened last time. Anyway, see you guys then.